In this lecture, we'll take a look at how we can create composite keys using SQL Server Management Studio. So here you can see we are creating a table and this table is having following columns like product ID, quantity to, quantity from, effective date and product name. Now the thing is, product ID, quantity to and quantity from will determine a unique product. So what we'll be doing over here, we'll be selecting product ID and then press the control key, select other columns which you want to be part of the composite key or primary key and then you do right click on here say set primary key and there you go so these three values should never be null and they should always be unique now, if you want to get a change script of this just right click and select generate change script and there you go you have the script over here and here you can see how it is generating the primary key or composite key. Add constraint, PK table one, primary key, key clustered, product ID quantity two, quantity from. Now I have not given it a name yet to this table. So you can obviously replace that name whenever you want. And let's close this for now and save this table by giving it a name. Let's call it as products. Click on OK. So you have it here. Now if you want to generate a script for this as well, you just go and refresh this database so that the table is reflected over here. And then you say right click, script table as create to new query window or to a file. And here we have our constraints defined as well. So it says PK products, primary key clustered, and we have the product ID quantity to quantity from as part of the primary key. So that is how we define a composite key in Microsoft SQL Server.